Good morning guys. Happy Tuesday. So starting my day per usual with a one point cup of coffee. I have two tablespoons of the sugar free French vanilla. Good morning guys. Happy Tuesday. I think I already said that with my coffee, but oh well. <laughs> anyway, so I have two slices of the 45 calorie Sara Lee bread. Each slice is one point, so two points for that. I have a couple sprays of the I can't believe it's not butter spray. Um, on each slice and that is zero points. I have one tablespoon split between the two slices of bread of the sugar-free strawberry preserves for zero points and I have a cherry Greek yogurt for two points. So that is breakfast so that is four points for breakfast. I am still working on my one point cup of, cup of coffee and I am working on my first 28 ounces of water. So that is my morning. Let me show you what I'm going to take to work for lunch. Okay, so for lunch today, I'm going to take to work my salad in a jar, three and a half ounces of the John Sewell's beef fajita meat, and that is three points. I have some fat-free mozzarella cheese on there for zero, and there is one tablespoon of sunflower seeds in there for one point, so that is four points for that. I have three points worth of um, veggie straws in here. I have one of the Cara Cara oranges for zero, and for my um, salad, I'm gonna have I have two tablespoons of this chunky blue cheese dressing for one point. So lunch today is going to be four, seven, eight points. And then for snack today, I'm still sticking to my clean eating snack challenge, and I can't wait to hear how you guys are doing with it. So I have a hard boiled egg here for two points. I have my usual veggies and then I'm this week I am having the black bean hummus so in here are carrots, celery and then some red pepper and this is something new I'm trying um, in our Facebook group one of the girls posted a video with mason jars and my okay so I used all my mason jars this weekend for meal prep if you saw that so except for a few of these jars so I would have liked to use this on one of my other jars but Anyway, so there's some apple slices in there, and then this is some PB2 that I just put into an applesauce container, and I'm just dropping it on top, and then I will put the lid on there, and there we go. There is my snack for the day. So like I said, I would have liked to use, I think it would have fit better, because for one thing, this is going to be really big with my other jar in my bag, but um, I tried doing it with this jar, but it didn't work, so... Um, I think it'll fit perfectly because see it's kind of going in a little bit, but it's no big deal. I think it'll fit perfectly in my little jars that I used for my soup this weekend. Um, but anyway, such a cute idea. Um, you could you, you could put like guacamole in there. You could put hummus in there and put some vegetables in the bottom. This really I might do that. I'm gonna start saving my applesauce cups. Um, speaking of which, oh, I think I might bring in applesauce as well just so I have something extra in case I want it. But Anyway, I'm going to start saving all my little applesauce tubs. I have a full package of six left in my pantry, so that should give me plenty of little tubs because I'm sure I'll forget to save some of them. So anyway, so that, those are my snacks for the day. Guys, I have like literally two minutes to talk to you, so I just wanted to check in really quick. I um, got up kind of early. I just couldn't exercise because... Um, Sorry, I just got a text message, so it's coming across my screen. Um, I had to do a little bit of meal prep. I forgot this weekend to make the beans for my husband um, for his dinners this week. And so I threw those into the crock pot this morning, but I get up and rinse them and all that stuff. So they are in the pot. And then I forgot to prep my lunch. I forgot to prep the rest of the stuff for my lunch, which doesn't usually take long since the main part's prepped, but I like to pull it out and, you know, do all that stuff and so I had to do all that this morning. So, it didn't work out this morning, so I'm going to do it after work. So, thankfully, tonight's dinner is going to be the chicken tortilla soup, so that's done. I literally just have to heat it up. I think I'm going to add some avocado on top, some fat-free sour cream, and some fat-free cheese, and some green onions and red onions, and that sounds really good. So, And then the tortilla strips, of course. So I'm going to do that for dinner, so I will have a picture of that. Probably will not check in after work because it's just dark and stormy and yucky out, and it's just not safe for me to be 
um, videoing while I'm driving in this weather. It's just horrible. So this will probably be the last time you see me. Oh, I was going to finish my story really super quickly about what happened yesterday at work. So there's a hit and run. Um, I don't know if they caught the people because there was around the corner, there was a car over there with an ambulance and fire truck. We couldn't see the front, so we don't know if that was the car involved in it. But what happened is they knocked out all the mailboxes at the at the houses across the street from our work and then sideswiped like four of the vehicles in our parking lot. And one of them got really smashed up in the front. Um, it doesn't look totaled or anything, so that's good. So the police were there and stuff. But when I left, the police were just getting there. And the ambul one ambulance was gone, but there was another one there. So I don't know if they got hurt when that happened or if there's already a medical emergency. And that's what happened. So I have no idea. I'm going to see if anybody knows at work today. So that's why I was nervous because somebody said it was a newer model Toyota that got really messed up. And, um, but my car was parked on the inside next to the building. But I hate parking in that back lot because, back lot because we have had cars broken into also. I should just park in the front. I probably will start doing that from now on. But I mean, your car can get hit anywhere. I've had two cars hit in parking lots, three cars of my work, not this work, my previous work. I had three different vehicles. Yeah, it was, no, it was two of my vehicles and then one other vehicle that were hit, I believe so. Anyway, I don't know, parking lots are dangerous. So, um, so I'm gonna go out of here because it's almost been three minutes I had two. So I'm gonna get to work. Um, and I'm sorry, there's not a lot talking this week. Just busy. Work's going to be super busy this week. Not a lot of steps going on because I have meetings every single day this week, but Friday. So, so I'll be able to talk to you a little bit on Friday for my weekend review. And I'll catch up for the whole week and let you know how I did. So I will talk to you all later. Have a great week, guys.